Hi, I'm James Randy. At this time of the year, we are pleased to present the annual Pegasus Awards to the following very deserving people. Now, it was a hard call. There seem to be millions all over the world clamoring to make it onto the following short list. But these folks had that special something that commanded our attention and, in the end, impressed us as no others could. No matter whether it was blatant cynicism, shocking callousness, lazy ignorance, or merely old-fashioned pig-headedness, wink, these men and women took those qualities that most vex us to wild, crazy extremes. We'd salute them, only we're too busy gaping. For the scientists who did the most to promote woo-woo, the prize this year goes to Dr. Mehmet Oz, a Harvard-educated cardiac physician whose current TV show, while providing some basic wisdom re-medical matters, also promotes and endorses such quackery as Reiki, of which Oz's wife is a practitioner, along with all sorts of energy medicine and other magic. Oprah Winfrey, following his appearance on her TV show, set him up with a show of his own, which has heavy ratings and brings him book sales and other such fruits of success. Proper scientific studies, you know, have found that Reiki offers no therapeutic effects, nor is it beneficial for any condition, though it does fatten the wallets of the practitioners. For the funding organization that wasted the most money on pseudoscience, Iraq's Interior Ministry had, by the end of 2009, spent 83 million U.S. dollars on a dowsing rod called the ADE 651. Despite the international uproar and continued car bomb detonations in Iraq, the things are still being used, and the ministry is still defending its decision to buy and use them. For the media outlet that reported as fact the most outlandish paranormal claims, we have the Oprah Winfrey Show. Now, Oprah is a smart lady, but she's also a very silly lady. In the last years, she's made her show a platform for Suzanne Somers, Jenny McCarthy, Dr. Oz himself, and Michael Beckwith, the founder of the New Thought Church. Now, lots of shows dabble in silliness from time to time, but Oprah's can't be compared to any of those. She's too famous, and her reach is far too long. There are many, many millions who believe that if Oprah likes it, it must be the truth. For the psychic who tricked the most people with the least effort and talent, Chip Coffee is a, quote, clairvoyant, clairaudient, and clairsentient psychic, unquote, as well as a, quote, fully conscious medium, unquote. Well, we'll see. He says he's the great-grandson of a famed Native American medicine woman, Minnie Sue Morrow Foster, whose own similar gifts were widely hailed in the early part of the 20th century. And, well, that's nice, but what he really does for a living is to take deluded kids and make them worse by encouraging them to claim magical powers that they just don't have. In my opinion, this is child abuse. For the group that most ardently refuses to face reality, Scientologists, it should be obvious by now that OT, that's an operating thetan, as we all know, on levels 9, 10, and 11 just don't exist. Also, the New York Times, the LA Times, and many other media outlets have lately come forth with nearly identical stories exposing the church's dark side, which allegedly involves penal colonies, covered up rapes, coerced abortions, slave labor, and physical abuse at the hands of their leader, David Miscavige. It's time for those drawn in by Scientology's bright, shiny surfaces to smarten up. And there you have it, folks. We hope that over the course of 2010, the above recipients will see the error of their ways and make a change. However, we highly doubt that. So I think we'll see you again in April of 2011. We thank you for watching this latest episode of James Randi Speaks. For more of James Randi and the Educational Foundation, make sure you visit randi.org.